Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the last several days, I've made monogram um, videos on monogram. And, and the, the gentleman that sent me this letter maker, and he said the one I made the other day that was actually a, and you'll just have to back up. And I might, I might put links to those two videos in case you missed it. But the gentleman that sent me the letter saying, you can't do four letters. Well, I, I don't do, I've only probably ever done it in one monogram, but if you had ever to do four letters, this is how you could do it because the other one would not work. So with my text selected, I'm going to go up here to this and you could download these fonts I showed the other day. And then we're going to select, well, we're going to select these two fonts and go to the middle and I'll put links at the bottom of this video on this font that you can download and where to download it from. But he actually sent me an example and I didn't particularly, well, I need to make those to the middle. So get your shape tool and go up here to the middle. Kind of hard to see sometimes, there's the middle. Now, the problem is it's not round anymore, but we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And we're going to bring in a circle, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key till it's kind of close. But I need to make it that size, so I'm going to uh, put my uh, circle in the back of the page so I won't click on it. And then I just basically need to stretch my text till it kind of fits into the circle better. And you'll see in just a second. So we're pretty close. And you could play around with this. And that's pretty good. I could play around with a little bit more, but that's time saving. And so now this is he sent me an example. Well this doesn't look good. You know this doesn't make the circle of the monogram. So what you can do now with your text selected, I would go to object and convert it to a curve and I'm going to left click, right click so we can see. And because, and you can see I'm a little bit off, but you could actually trim that. So now we're going to take the shape tool and get rid of that node and that node. And then holding down the control button, go straight up. I don't think I did. Holding down the control button after you move it, start moving it. And then you can use your, and you could do this probably with back minus front. And then we're going to go up here, go up here, and then making this more perfect. Now it's making the inside look funny, but there's a way around that too. And for just for instance, we're going to just go ahead and put this A up here. And then we're going to get, I like getting rid of these middle nodes because they're just going to cause you problems. So start moving it, hold down the control button. It'll be right there. Start moving it, hold down the control button. And just, I'm getting it close for the video. It doesn't have to be perfect for the video. You might want to take a little bit more time and you could probably actually uh, do back minus front on some of this and get it, take away some, you could actually go past here. Now, it looks a lot better if we fill it in with black, but I don't like this because this isn't following the circle. So just take another circle. And because I'm working in the center of the page, I can hit P, put it in the center of the page and grow this circle outwardly till it meets the D and the A. And that's probably good enough for the video now, do the exact same thing here. Click on that, get rid of the middle node, get rid of the middle node, start moving it, hold down the control button. And I know there's a way you could do this with back minus front, just, uh, or weld or intersect. See, I had, didn't deselect that node. And by holding down the control button, it should go straight up and down. And then, I must have clicked on it and made it not a curve. 
and then just go down the bottom and do the same thing. So all we're doing is basically just repairing it. But with the shape tool, take that, take that away, hit the delete, start moving this, hold down the control button. And I actually did not select, deselect that other one so that it was grabbing both of them. And you could zoom in here and get these things perfect. And once you actually get that circle away, nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. So now we can get rid of that circle, which is right here, and just hit delete. We'll actually get rid of that circle and hit delete. And select all that and left click. And that looks pretty good. Took a little bit of time, but not really a big deal and uh, might be something you could use at some point. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.